Looking back at 2013, let's see how I did. I made some goals before, and now I took a look at the European Framework for Languages, read all their definitions, and kind of placed for the first time where I thought I was from reading them. I have taken exams on this framework for French that I passed and Russian, but the rest of them I just had to guess. So, for Chinese, I say I'm now breaching the threshold of what they say is A1. I can, my writing's terrible. I can read a little bit, but the key thing that I've done is I used Pimsleur and got through all 90 lessons, and so I'm starting to be able to speak and understand basic things, that basic necessities, I can understand, I can speak, and, you know, when I, I've occasionally introduced myself and used some very basic Mandarin with people, which is very satisfying to even be able to have 10 second conversation. <laughs> um, and so that was, I'd say, somewhat of a success. I've been using Memorize and Pimps last year. German, then, is the next one, and I would say that is a fail for last year. It was a really strong first three months. Medical school wasn't as tough on me. I had a lighter beginning, and I was able to regularly speak on Skype in German. I was able to do a decent bit of reading little short things on link, but, you know, a couple a week. But I would say that really fell off after there to just occasionally working on my German just to keep it where it's at. And things got more difficult and I haven't really progressed with it. So I'm actually not happy with where my German is at that B1 level and not happy that I haven't been speaking it as much as I would like to. I haven't met a lot of I hadn't maintained a lot of those relationships with German speakers, so that's unfortunate. Um, for my Italian, I would say I got my Italian got a little bit worse, not because my knowledge of Italian is worse, but just from not using it a lot the past year. I used it every time I met an Italian, I would speak with them only in Italian, but that only happened maybe five or six times in New York City the whole in all of 2013. So haven't done a lot, but. In 2012, I had lived in Italy, well, I worked in Italy for almost two months, and I traveled around a little bit. So that's why I'd say that's how I got my Italian to B2, but it's not up to a B C1 level. When I got back, it might have been close, but now it's definitely not. Um, Portuguese was a huge success. I'd say beginning of the year, I was at an A2 level that I had used even up to now, still you speaking in Portuguese regularly on Skype, um, Brazilian Portuguese, listen to it a lot on my iPod, listen to a lot of music, love it, um, seen a lot of progress. Haven't read a full novel yet, but I've done a lot of shorter readings in Portuguese, and so I'd say that was a large success. Russian, kind of the same as before. I watched some TV series once in a while. I didn't get around to reading Master Margarita in Russian, which is really disappointing because I love the book, watched it in English, saw the miniseries. Even this past uh, Christmas break this week I had, I rewatched the miniseries because I knew I made the goal to read it, didn't get around. Well, I started reading it um, when I got tired of Les Mis. I started reading it and read about 40, 50 pages, but really I wanted to finish Les Mis first. So, um, otherwise I'm happy with where my Russian is. Spanish, I didn't put C2, even though I passed the certification test to use it at work, because um, I don't get all the slightest nuances in spoken Spanish sometimes, and depending on the accent or the region that the person's from depends on how, you know, sometimes I might have, things might not be quite as clear as it is, for instance, with my French. So I put it at C1 for that reason. Um, I think that's a fair assessment. I, like I said, I passed my exam and I was very happy with that and I use Spanish more than I use any other language besides English. French is, I met my goal just today actually, over this past break, because before I would read about a chapter of the book a day, but it's 1,500 pages. And so a chapter would be four or five pages in this book. I'm not getting very far. Um, and, you know, I'd missed chunks of time when I was busier when I had exams. So this past Christmas break, I was reading 100 pages a day to finally finish it up. 
and I would say those, so that is kind of how I did last year and where I am with my language learning. Now, for the next six weeks, I'm going to have to live a bit of a monastic lifestyle where I will be um, studying, basically doing nothing but studying because I have a large exam in exactly six weeks. And I set aside exactly six weeks. I kind of have a regimen where I'll just be, you know, from the time I wake up, the only thing I'll be doing is studying and then going to exercise every day. Because I believe getting good sleep, eating well, exercise is the best, is very important to studying well. So... I have everything laid out. I'm not even going to be able to listen to foreign language or any Chinese audio or German audio because I downloaded even audio lectures in order to help me for this test. So everything I'm really going to be focusing on medicine for six weeks. So I'm not going to make any language goals. The only language thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use maybe go over my memorized uh, Chinese characters. When I need a study break or I'm sitting back, but only for a minute or two in breaks here and there. So basically nothing. So that's why I'm not going to release any goals. I do have some plans for 2014, but they will not be starting until mid-February. So at that time, I will update you to let you know. Um, but I'd like to know what your goals are, how you've been doing. Um, for people that have been communicating with me, I'm always interested to hear from you. So um, Happy New Year's 